right, we're gonna move on to classifiers. Uh, remember the three types of um, computation that can be done on pipeline, the first one being factors followed by filters. We're gonna cover classifier now. I mentioned previously in the past that uh, classifiers really actually uh, group assets into different categories. So we're gonna look at that now and just pick up the notebook first. We already done that. So. So here we are importing pipeline, importing run pipeline for the research environment and we want to import the two inbuilt factors which is simple moving average as well as the average dollar volume. Uh, we already explained this, I'll just go through this line uh, as an example. So what we're looking to do now here uh, as an example of classifier is produce a string output. An example here is uh, of a classifier producing a string output is the exchange ID of a security, whether it's New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ or other exchange. To create this classifier, we will have to import the Morningstar uh, share class reference exchange ID. Uh, so this is a different data set and we also use the latest attribute to instantiate our classifier. So to understand what that means, we're going to uh, go through this. So let's run the first one first. Okay, so from quantopian.pipeline.data, we need to import Morningstar. So uh, Quantopian does pipe produce or provide, I should say, uh, different data sets. Uh, one is the inbuilt or the market data. The other one is Morningstars for the fundamentals data. There are sentiments and earnings uh, and many others as well. So I encourage you to actually investigate there under the data here. So now that we've import uh, Morningstar, uh, the so-called library. So Morningstar, um, the method uh, of share underscore class underscore reference, um, and then the exchange ID, the latest is where the exchange uh, data is, uh, is stored. So we store all of these into the variable called exchange. Now previously we saw that the latest attribute produced an instance of a factor. In this case, since the underlying data is a type of string, uh, it produces a classifier. Similarly, a computation producing the latest Morningstar sector code of a security is also a classifier. In this case, the underlying type is an integer. But the integer doesn't represent a numerical value, uh, it's just a category, so it produces a classifier. To get the latest sector code, we can use the inbuilt sector classifier. So if you think about it a little bit in terms of what is uh, mentioned here, there are three types of classifier, or rather there are three examples of classifier here is, one is the sector code. Um, the sector code could be 100 or 101. Now that we've covered the exchange ID, we're gonna go over the sector. So again, we need to actually uh, go to Contopian Pipeline Classifiers Morningstar, import sector. Okay, and store this into the variable called Morningstar underscore sector. All right, um, so the building filters from classifier. Remember what a filter is? It's a Boolean, it's true or false. Classifier can also be used to produce filters with methods like is now, equal to, or starts with. The full list of classifier methods producing uh, filters can be found here. So you guess follow this link, so it seems to be a repeat there. As an example, if we want filter to select for securities trading on the New York Stock Exchange, we can use the equal method for our exchange classifier. So here, dot .eq is the equal to NYS, so that's really the uh, code for New York Stock Exchange. So this and store this into the filter. Okay, and the next example is uh, quantiles. Classifier can also be produced from various factor methods. The most general of these is quantiles method, which accepts a bin count as an argument. The quantiles methods assigns a label from zero uh, to every non, not a number data point in the factor output and returns a classifier with these labels. NANs are labeled with minus one. Alias, uh, aliases or aliases are available for quantiles, quantile four, quantiles five, and deciles. As an example, this is what a, a filter for the top decile of a factor might look like. So let's look at an example. Dollar volume decile, uh, average dollar volume. So we're looking at the 10 days, uh, average dollar volume here. Deciles, 
is really breaking the uh, splitting the assets into three or oh, sorry 10 categories or 10 uh, deciles here um, the top decile variable is where we want to store a dollar volume decile that is equal to nine we will store the uh, top decile into dollar underscore volume underscore decile is equal to nine so if that is true that it is in category or decile number nine it will automatically um store into turn into a true within uh, the top decile now just remember uh, python start counting from zero so if we're looking at a decile which is one to ten decile ten really is actually nine in python sorry if that sounds confusing it's just how python counts so let's put our classifier into a pipeline and run it to see what it looks like so again we have define make pipeline here we extract the um so-called exchange id from morningstar and we create a filter whether the exchange is equal to mys or not and then the next one is the sector itself uh, and the next one is the dollar volume decile we want the actual top decile and here we want to return all of these okay so there are three things we want to return uh, what exchange it is what sector it is and also the dollar volume decile as well and the screen here is we want to screen by New York Stock Exchange whether it's listed in the New York Stock Exchange or not we only want to look at new those that listed in New York Stock Exchange the first one the second one is top decile top decile in terms of the dollar volume let's run that and we're going to run that for the period uh, of May 5th as well so so I have quite a few uh, pipeline running in the background and my research memory is quite high so it's taking a wee while so as you can see uh, the top decile is nine new york stock exchange and what's returned also is the sector code which we have defined over here as well